Now, 12 News. All right, we have breaking news at 7 o'clock right here on 12 News This Morning on Fox Providence. At this hour, at this uh, very minute even, the independent man is being removed from atop its perch at the State House. This is happening for the first time in about 50 years. Kate Walsh, live in Providence right now. Kate, you've been there for a couple of hours seeing crews gather. There was some concern that the weather, the winds, might uh, hinder this uh, project to remove the independent man from the top of the State House, but looks like it's a go. It's going. In fact, we're seeing the independent man when we zoom in kind of swinging now. It looks like it's completely connected to the hook. We just heard someone shout. It's really go time now. It's seven o'clock on the dot. And so it's exciting. We're seeing more people arrive trying to witness this history for Rhode Island. And of course, General Reginald Centracchio joins us here live to talk about this moment and the last time this historic moment took place back in 1975, 76. Yeah. Okay. So as we uh, uh, look at this happening before our very eyes. How does it compare to the last time and where you were watching last time when this was happening? Well, actually, I was inside watching it. Uh, and fortunately, I was outside when it finally came down. But had this been back in 1976, we'd had it down already. What the hell? Oh, yeah, why is that? Because we used a helicopter. You pick it up, put it down. No crane, all that stuff. <laughs> But, I mean, the technology was different, obviously, back then. You used the helicopter, and then we were talking a little bit before about how putting it back up, the helicopter, made it a little bit more challenging than maybe a crane would. Well, it was a bit of a challenge with the choppers we had, so we had to go out and, and hire a commercial spider, what it was referred to. Came back, put it down, no problem at all. Didn't need a crane, all that stuff. <laughs> all right, so you were inside, you were trying to unscrew the big bolt right during the process and there's a bolt about maybe uh, four to five inches uh, in diameter and she took it off and fortunately uh, there was no erosion so when the chopper picked it up the dome didn't go with it uh, so consequently uh, it worked well and yeah that was the first time it was removed since it was put up in 1899 was in 1976 so you didn't know what to expect really now we know it's been up here since the 70s and uh hopefully it will be removed okay it looks like it already was removed from the bolt that it was uh secured down with because we kind of saw it swinging uh, maybe uh, maybe two or three feet off the bottom base right now oh, okay and you can see the the, the uh, shoulders and uh yeah, it's starting to sway a little bit, but I'm sure it'll be okay. So this only took a matter of seconds, minutes, the last time when the helicopter brought it down. What do you expect for today based on people you've talked to? Three or four hours. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but i probably going to be down maybe about a half hour once it gets up. Mm -hmm. I have to clear the dome, have to clear the building, and put it down. I'm not sure if they're going to put it down on this side. I think they're going to drop it on this side, and then tomorrow they'll put it into the... Uh, Maybe this afternoon they'll put it back in the building. Yeah, I believe what they've been saying is that it's going to be brought into the plaza here where we are on Smith Street and then into the left-hand door and into the State House. and hopefully members of the public will be able to see it in the coming weeks. Um, and just to give some background here, the reason it's being taken down this time is because the marble dome that it sits atop has some cracks in it. The, uh, the state has been doing some drone surveillance over the years, looking up, uh, down, like a bird's-eye view of the industry independent man and they noticed some cracks so they wanted to make sure before it got too bad up there and something terrible happened they secured it and made sure it was fixed so when they take down the independent man the crane will then be taking down all the cracked pieces of marble they'll put up a, a steel structure for the time being they'll create a new marble dome for it to sit on and then they'll put the independent man back on top general do you have any indication as to the timeline for this when the structure will be put back up uh, I would I would suggest probably a couple of months I know when get into the winter time and they're probably not going to do any of that. Uh, I think maybe the design and dome is in the process right now, but actually getting the piece completed, I, I don't know the exact time frame, but I would suggest it would be probably springtime or thereabouts, but certainly not during the winter time. All right, so from what I'm hearing, we're taking a live look right now at the lifting up of the independent man from where we're standing it's kind of difficult to see because we just see all the the scaffolding and the structure around it uh, but pretty soon we'll be seeing it lifted up above the state house and then over and down in front of the state house here on smith street and now the whole 
part of Smith Street here is open to traffic. Nothing is blocked off. So if this is part of your morning commute, you're good to go. Not really much traffic even. Cars are moving just fine. Uh, we do see a small crowd gathered in front of the state house watching a little boy too, which really stands out because I'm sure he'll remember this for the rest of his life and talk about it. I know a lot of people uh, at our station, my dad, of course you, people of a certain age are talking about how they remember the last time it was taken down and how exciting it was for Rhode Islanders. I'll tell you, I'm not going to be here in 50 years from now. <laughs> <laughs> but 50 years ago, it was uh, pretty exciting too. Yeah. So you had uh, quite a few more people then than there are right now. Mm -hmm. But um, so something that uh, probably watching obviously on TV, yeah. a little bit warmer there. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, uh, yeah. So I think uh, this is quite a thing to remember. And last time it was brought to the Warwick Mall, but of course there's the replica outside or at the Warwick Mall now anyway, right? Yeah, we had a bit of a problem with that, uh, putting it at the mall. The other malls uh, didn't appreciate that, so we eventually made a replica of it, and uh, it's still there in front of the food court. Then we took the uh, independent man back, and uh, it was put back in the state house eventually. Yeah, so from what we're told, the members of the public will be able to see this statue in the coming weeks while they're working on the dome itself, so you can get an up-close look, because right now it doesn't, it's hard to even see how big it is. We're told it's 11 feet tall, about 500 pounds. 500 pounds yeah. It's pretty heavy, made of bronze, gold plated, gold leaf plated on the outside. Yeah, I can't remember what the terminology is, but it's pretty expensive to do it. Yeah, yeah. it's expensive. And yeah. From what we understand, last time when it was taken down, it was taken down for a new gold covering to be put on it, where this time it's the dome itself. So the independent man's structure itself, maybe it will be cleaned when it's down this time, but it's not being worked on itself. I think they might look at different parts of it. To, uh, I, I think the term is to regill it somehow. Okay, yeah. And um, then put it back up. But I don't think it needs any significant uh, coating like it did before. No. So this was, we're, we're taking a live look now. It looks like it's oh being lifted even from the ground here. We can see the head of the independent man now being uh, brought up over the structure that's surrounding it. You can see the workers up there as well and the harness that's pulling it up. And so let's take a, a live look as we watch this moment in history for Rhode Island. Now this was the idea for this structure. The statue was uh, brought up in 1895 in the Rhode Island Historical Society. And the idea was to create a statue of Roger Williams, of course, for his significance for the history and creation of the state of Rhode Island. And so it's a little bit of a twist on Roger Williams in appearance and to kind of go along with the, uh, the feel for the rest of the state house and the design of it. And so it was created by a Massachusetts designer, and then it was created by a manufacturer in Providence, and it was put up in 1899, where it has stood atop the Rhode Island State House until 1976 when it was taken down and put back up. And look at this moment here. This is incredible to see. 500 pounds, 11 feet tall, the Independence Man dangling on top of the Rhode Island State House as it's being brought down by a crane so that the structure below it, the dome, will be fixed and the Rhode Island Independent Man will be put back up and they make sure he stays safe for many more years to come because he signifies so much to the state of Rhode Island and independence and the creation of Rhode Island as an independent state where people could feel like they didn't have any uh, any loyalty to any type of religion. They could be independent and believe what they wanted to be. It's really cool to see this even closer, even though it's still in the sky, closer than we've really ever seen it with the uh, the spear that it's holding. And uh, General, you have a, a kind of a funny story about that, don't you? With, uh, with what part of it? Was? With the, the spear that he's holding and what happened last well, time. Well, the spear was, when we put it down on the south side of the state house, uh, it was lying down. And General Holland was the adjutant general at the time. And he came around the corner and um, said, what, what's going on here? And consequently, he uh, walked into the spear and uh, got a little gouge in his head. And I thought that was the end of my career. Right. But it wasn't. So that was the story. That's interesting. Oh, wait, look at this. It's going right down to the front of the State House now, right on the plaza here on the Smith Street side of the State House. 
It's really beautiful. Definitely gold, that's for sure. And we can tell now that it's closer to however we've ever seen it. Uh, it's 11 feet tall, 500 pounds harnessed up and being secured down to the ground now by workers here, making sure it isn't damaged at all. It did happen pretty quickly. Maybe a matter of a minute or two. Pretty incredible to watch this. Looks like it's just hovering over the floor, doesn't it? See my initials on the bottom. <laughs> no way. No. <laughs> All right, this will be fascinating for people to be able to go into the state house and see. Hopefully they'll have viewing hours and it will be visible for people during this whole construction project. But certainly heavy. I mean, look at its comparison to the size of these men. It, you can tell how heavy and, and difficult it must be to secure it and make sure it doesn't fall as they're putting it to the ground here. What do you think is going through these workers' minds right now? Thank God. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> I'm sure that uh, they're happy it's on the ground now. They still have to get it inside. This is true. And uh, no one better walk into the spear. No, no, not this time. <laughs> Can you talk a little bit about the uh, significance of the Independent Man for Rhode Island? Well, I, I think the, uh, the intent was to have it uh, uh, representative of the freedom. Uh, there's certainly uh, our right to have choice, our right to have uh, our religion, and all the things that Roger Williams stood for. So independent meaning you didn't have to cater to anyone. You did what you wanted to do uh, within context of the law, obviously. Right, right. And so that was the meaning as far as I could determine. It's interesting, too. I was doing a little background research leading up to today. And, of course, Rhode Island isn't the only state house to have um, a, a statue on top of it. But it is interesting to see how other state houses have statues that symbolize what they stand for. Some of them in the Midwest have ones that symbolize, you know, wheat and harvesting and, and things that they do, agriculture, where here we are with the independent man because it was so important to Rhode Island when it was created so many years ago. All right, so it looks like it's being secured to the ground now, I believe. So it's 7.12. This started at 7 o'clock. But if you were watching over on WPRI 12 in the 6 o'clock hour, we saw even then towards the end of the hour that it was already kind of hovering over the base. So they had lifted it probably between, I would say, 6.15 and 6.45 with the crane. And it was hovering there until they made sure everything was secure. And then right after 7 o'clock, we saw it lifted up from its base up over the state house cleared all of the scaffolding up there and then brought safely to the ground in front of the state house here on the Smith Street side where people are gathering to watch this historic moment for the state of Rhode Island. It only happened one time before this. Governor Dan McKee is here now uh, across the street from us as well watching this all unfold. Thank you General Centracchio for joining us this morning as well. Okay. And hopefully we'll be able to speak to the governor in a few minutes as well about what this means for Rhode Islanders today. Very exciting day. All right, Pat, we're going to go back to you in the studio. Hope you were able to uh, watch it from a different angle than what we could see out here, of course, as we have many different live cameras shooting this uh, all unfold here at the scene. Yeah, we're all captivated here in the studio watching the uh, independent man make his way from the top of the state house down to the ground, something you don't see every day. In fact, we haven't seen it in almost 50 years. So definitely history in Rhode Island this morning. Really cool video. Great job by the crew out there. We'll get back out to you, Kate, in a little bit and hopefully catch up with the governor. First, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with TJ's forecast in a few minutes.